about Allah created things in pair. And now actually now we are going in YouTube until now we did not go in YouTube, all right? So hello everybody, sorry YouTube, I did not, I forgot to click the bomb to go live in YouTube, <laughs> but I clicked to go in uh, Rumble first. Anyway, so uh, peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I see here it says that we have a low frequency or let us say we have some weak internet. It's all right. Uh, our topic today is about the uh, Allah, he created things in pair. Uh, the Muslims themselves, they are confused about how in the world such a thing happened. Meaning of and everything we have created in pairs. So the Muslim here is asking a question, what does that mean? Is that accurate? Does, it, does the word pairs, Zawjain, or Zawjan, include two variation of the same thing, such apples, for, uh, for an example? Does the word pairs occur in the same context uh, all verses which speak of the creation of everything in pairs? Can you give me some examples? So the Muslims obviously hear this uh, statement about going uh, Allah creating things in pairs. Uh, it's kind of uh, like there is something not right about it. And the Muslims themselves, they are confused. What does that mean? How that can happen? Summary of the answer. We created things in pairs mean we have a created male and female. But remember the guy he just said, uh, apples, you know, okay. Uh, and, and there's animals and there's things. So everything created in pairs. There's no exception. Meaning of everything here says, and we of everything, we have a created pairs. Meaning of and of every fruit has a place therein two kind. What is the meaning of Zawj and Zawjan? Meaning of the verses like, and we created you in pairs. Meaning of everything in pairs, Allah the glorified blah 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 blah, he says, in the verse meaning that he created things in pairs. They are repeating just themselves. I mean, just repeating the same thing, you know. There's no answer really. And in the interpretation, they said to you, Allah created everything in pairs. But the question is, explain to me more. What does that mean? Uh, there is a, a difference of opinion concerning the words, we have a created pairs. And here you notice how Islamic propaganda work. The second you ask them a question, which is like embarrassing, suddenly there is different opinions. I mean, why this, even this one, such as, you know, simple thing, why even this one have many opinion? Why, why there is opinion? Any Muslim can tell me why you Muslims have many opinion about it? Allah created things in pairs. So, what opinion? It says pairs, everything. And then Mujahid said, and look, look how far even they go in pairs. Mujahid said, disbelief and faith. What about somebody is so so? <laughs> you Muslims, you never heard of somebody is so so? He is not an atheist, he is not really a truly believer, he is so-so, he's not sure. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Faith and belief and disbelief. And then he says, misery and happiness. You never heard of somebody is so-so, he is not so happy, he is not so sad. And actually, this is most of our day, you know. We are not like happy, excited, and we are not uh, sad, and we are normal, you know. Like, so, but 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 the Muslim, look how far they take things. But they're trying to understand the stupidity of the Quran. So misery and happiness, like there's nothing between them. Huh? Guidness and misguidedness, it, is it is it true? It can be like misguided and guided in the same time. 
As an example, now, when you are explaining this verse to us, is it possible that you are misguided in the explanation? And guided in explanation, which means some of what you said is correct and some of it is not? Do you understand? And then he says, and other they said, it's about male and female. Huh? So from now, believe and disbelieve. Uh, you know, to, but anyway, I mean, the Quran is so clear in that. I mean, how in the world you say this is about belief and disbelief when the Quran says, I created you? He's saying the same to, to, uh, to, uh, to Noah, take from everything, pears, etc. So we know that those are creatures, those are human and animals. And this is how you see that even those who claim to be cleric or scholar, they try to, uh, to give you the answer in the Quran. They do not know what they are talking. They are just guessing. They are just guessing. There is no scholarship in Islam. Everyone he guess as he wish, and he give you an answer as he wish. At the end of the uh, thing, they will say Allah knows best. If you go at the end of the page, I did not read it yet, all of it, but I am assuming. Here we go. See it? Allah knows best. You see it? Why they say Allah knows best, which means they are not sure of what they are saying. Allah knows best. This is the signature of disclaimer of stupidity. So you read the whole article, the guy is looking for the answer, and then they give you a hundred opinion, and every opinion says the opposite of the other one. And then at the end, they, they throw all those opinions at you, and then you know what? Allah knows best. So who knows what Islam is about? Nobody. Allah knows best. And actually, even when they say Allah knows best, Muslims are mushrikeen. Muslims are kuffar. Why? Because if you are saying Allah knows best, that means you are comparing Allah to who? With his knowledge. Do you remember in the Quran, when the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators? Do you remember? So when Allah he says he is the best of the creators, Allah himself is a mushrik because he's comparing himself to other gods. Claiming that there is other creators. But if you ask any Muslim, they will say to you, Allah is the one who created everything. Even they will show you a verse from the Quran. But we will show you a verse from the Quran saying to more than one, that Allah is the best of the creators. Blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. And this is a chapter 23, verse number 14, and another chapter 2. So, Allah knows best. That means there's many they knew, but Allah he knew best of them. So even their God knowledge is associating with other knowledge. And if when you compare between two, I have to compare between two from the same kind. Otherwise, I cannot say Allah know better than a human. And I say the word best. I can say actually, he know like, he, like uh, uh, he have extreme knowledge. Uh, our knowledge is little, little. But to say the word best, that means the knowledge of others is so good. And it can be compared to the knowledge of Allah. If our knowledge is so little, then we cannot compare it to the knowledge of someone you call him God. Because if he is the one who created the earth and the heaven, well, he knew things. I mean, to study an ant, there's there's people they spend their life studying ants you know or any kind of creatures like shark or a fly or you know so this is a this is a huge study to study just a little insect so imagine somebody have knowledge of all things in the world and the creation and the creatures so when we say allah knows best he is compared to who muslims are kuffar they are pagan mushrikeen they claim that they are worshipping true God, but in reality, they do not know God and they have no God.
Same time, we have a bigger problem. Allah created things in pairs. When the Muslim translators, they try to translate the Quran, they go in the limbo. The Quran is so stupid to the point. It says so stupid things to the point. Not only it's confusing, it is beyond confusion. It is so stupid. As an example, The second Muhammad, he speak about numbers, obviously Muhammad, you know, the Muslim, they say Muhammad was illiterate, right? But here his illiteracy appear as low IQ. If you go as an example, chapter 6, verse 143. And this is supposedly Read with me and love. This is the chapter of An'am. The chapter of An'am is about uh, animals. Animals, you know. Uh, it's talking about, I mean, the, the chapter is really mixed, mixed up chapter. So you might be confused a bit because the verse before it have nothing to do with the verse after it. And, uh, you know, etc. All the Quran is like that. Like here, you will see here, like, what is this? Now, okay, this verse here, 140. What does this have to do with this verse here? Nothing. Nothing. It's just a stupid book. But then you will see something here showing you how good Allah in mathematics. He is so good. Among the livestock are some for transportation and some for clothing. Eat of what Allah has provided you. So he's telling you the purpose of a creation of creating those things. But the problem is here. Allah created eight pairs. And I want you to focus with me and see how stupid the one they call him Allah. Eight pairs, two of sheep, two of goat. And then he continues saying that two males or two females. Where is the eight pairs? Muslims, we have two sheep, one male and one female. We have two goat, one male and one female. And then he said something very funny. He forbid what? The two male and two female. What the heck is that? But if we calculate the numbers, we will find he is talking about four. What is the eight pairs? The second you say pairs, and you use the word eight next to it, we are talking about eight x two. Do we agree? If I say one pair, one pair is two. Two pairs is four, etc. Because the word pairs mean two. The second you say the word pair, you just mentioned the word two. Adding numbers next to it will tell you how many pairs.
So Allah and the funny, you know, like if he says eight pairs and shut up, that will be fine. But the guy, he explained. Even in the interpretation for the verses, they say to you four. So obviously the one who wrote the Quran is literally illiterate, like when the Muslim they say. Muhammad is illiterate. He is an idiot. He is not educated. He does not know what he is saying. He claimed that God is talking. And then he continues, says here. The Muslim, they will say to you, okay, hold on. You did not mention this, the, the, the rest. Okay, we will mention two of the camels and two of the cattle. Okay, let us count now. Guys, two camels, two of the cattle. But you, we mentioned already goats and sheep. What cattle? If any Muslim is here? What two of the cattle? Where you are adding the two of the cattle? So there is two cattle. Sorry, two two. Uh, 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 in Arabic, actually, it mentioned the word uh, uh So if they meant by the cattle saying uh, uh, cows, that's fine. But let us calculate again. So the number now increased. We have two cows. We have two camels. We have two goat. We have two sheep. Total is eight. But here it says eight pairs. Then the Muslims, they get more confused. In chapter 11, verse number 40, it says something very funny. If you read this translation here, it says that supposedly Allah, he ordered Noah to Muhammad is copying the story from the Old Testament, as we know, nothing new. So he ordered him to carry uh, animals with him. But in the English translation, it says, he ordered him to carry from everything a pair. Do you see it? It says a pair. That is a false translation. In Arabic it says Zawjain Ithnain from every thing two pairs not pair you see how the line translation let us see if we change the translator who is the translator here this is Itani let us see Hilali and Khan uh, what is Hilali? Read with me. Instead of using the word pairs, the, the, the Hilali and Khan, Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan, they used the word from every kind to, between two bracket, male and female. False translation it says from every kind to pairs let us change the translator we will keep doing that until maybe we find somebody he is have little dignity here it says And, and take into the ark a pair of every species. That's false. It says two pairs. This is a translation of Khattab. Let us you see Al Maududi. He 
here he is lying again. This is Al Maududi. He's saying, take in the ark pair of every species. That is false. In Arabic, it says, Zawjain ithnain. Two pairs of everything. Let us use another one. Mukabaraka kuburi. I don't know what this name is about. Here, he says, of each kind, two. But look how they try to cover up the Quran. Instead of using the word pairs, they are using male and female. Why? Because the word pairs is wrong. The word pairs is wrong. Until now, we failed to find one Muslim translation is telling the truth. Muhammad Asad. And this is all what? All of this happened because you don't speak the language. So they can fool you, they can lie to you. Look at this guy here. From either sex, from either etc. Huh? And look, here this guy, he said, one pair of every kind. In Arabic, it says two. Anyone who knows Arabic, he know what the word ithnain mean. Ithnain mean two. Zawjain mean two pairs. So already we have two pairs, and now we have two two pairs. And the Muhammadan trying their best to duct tape the stupidity of the one who wrote the Quran. Let us continue. Maybe we'll find somebody is a truthful. Muhammad Biktal, all of them they are Muhammad. Look here. Two of every kind, a pair of male and female. False translation. You can take the word Zawjain alone, post it in Google, and you can take the word Ithnain alone and post it in Google. And you will find that Zawjain means two pairs and Ithnain mean uh, two. As simple as that. Even if the Muslim, they will say to you, no, Zawjain, sometimes it can mean like a, 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 like a, a, like a, a male and female. No, that would be... Uh, you see, in Arabic, I can use the word Zawj alone. So you ask me how many chicken you bought, I say Zawj. Zawj. No, two. When you add in Arabic the letter, the two letters, Ya and Noon, that will make it two. As an example, the word Bait. Bait, it is an old Aramaic word. It have nothing to do with Arabic, actually. Arabic is not even a language. Arabic is a collection of languages. So if I type the word Bait, I will type it in Arabic and in English. Bait. If I add two letters at the end, that will make it... Oh, we are typing the same word. Hold on. Baitain. Two houses. Same for the word Zawj. Zawj is about two who became, like let's say, we can use it for uh, uh, for an animal, we can use it for a human, we can use it for etc. So Zawj present two who they are together. And usually from the same kind. And it even can, can, can mean something about marriage.
Zoj is one pair. If I say Zojain, I mean two pairs. And now in the Quran it says, Ithnain. And even the Muslims, if they try to say Zawj, it can be sometime too. It can be sometimes speaking about uh, uh, like, uh, like a person and a spouse, but this is what it still will be too. And uh, it can be about uh, two numbers, doesn't matter if they are matching or not, but doesn't matter. Here is speaking about taking from every animals, obviously, because there's differentiation between the animals and the family, his family. Take your family and two from everything. And then next to it, it says the word Ithnain. Ithnain mean two. Very simple. I don't have an Arabic keyboard, so sometimes I have difficulty uh, uh, in typing. So, bait, baitain, zawj, zawjain, you add ya noon to the end of anything, you will make it two. Very simple. In the case of zawj, it's already two. In the case of the word after it, it says two already. So take from everything two and two. Let us see if we change translation maybe one more time. Maybe we get lucky. Let us see Yusuf Ali. We did not try this edit yet. Read with me carefully. Here it says, from each kind two, male and female. Okay, so what is the word male and female is pair. So let us replace the word pair with this sentence. So what is the word two for? In Arabic here, there's no, uh, you know, like a, it's, it says, uh, uh, pair uh, 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 from everything pair from everything two pairs so if we just make it leave it as it is he put the comma in the, in the after to make it like he's just more explaining more no in Arabic it says it clearly take from everything two pairs there's no separation there's no comma the sentence is not over yet and the scenario continue in the Quran, all over the Quran, for this is a very stupid book. Let us find other verses. We did read already chapter 11, verse number 40. Let us see chapter 13, verse number 3. Look at this. And this is the proof that they were lying in the previous verses. Because it says the same. Look, look, you see, I was trying to prove to you my point in the previous verse. Typing for you the Arabic word. This is exactly the same Arabic word. Exactly. You can go to the previous Arabic word in the previous verse, which we type for you in Arabic on the screen, and compare between those. It's the same. But look what the translation is saying. He made in pairs two and two. <laughs> Do you see it? <laughs> Do you see it? He made in pairs two and two. So the stupid Muhammad, each time he used the word pair and he add the word two next to it, he make it four. And then if you try to change the translator, you will see another translation most likely will not say the same. 
Why? Because the purpose of this translation is to fool you, not to teach you. So now how Allah made everything two and two? Did Allah made Adam two Adam and two Eve? Did he? Razwan saying he is a Muslim, he is so upset, Razwan saying, uh, Christian Prince, you should be arrested and in jail. My friend, Allah created of me four, as you see. So you arrest one, still we have a three, and they are going to go on YouTube and get your God Allah busted. The Abdul is upset. He is saying to me, you should be arrested. Why you don't come to my house and arrest me? Maybe you are a potato. You are afraid if you come to arrest me, you will be arrested. And maybe I will put you in the backyard with the goat. Which anytime I can use that goat, my friend, to eat the Quran. Just I'm telling you, behave yourself. You should be arrested. Okay, why I should be arrested? It's me who said the stupid things. Allah created everything two and two. So now we have two Adam and we have two Eve. Is my voice coming good, guys? Give me one if you hear me very well in Rumble and give me one if you hear me very well in YouTube. In Rumble, we have only 153, but for sure, if we turn off our YouTube, we will have there a thousand right away. But it's okay, you know, we want just people in Rumble to know about us and they join us. Don't forget to subscribe in Rumble, so you never know. YouTube, one day he might, they might decide to cancel us as usual. So at least we have a backup. Who is a Muhammadan would like to call me and tell me how in the world such a stupid statement in the Quran come to exist? Allah created everything two and two. I mean, with one Joe Biden, we are not happy. Imagine we have four of them. And the Muslim, they claim, they have videos speaking about how wise Allah is, how amazing Allah is. But the second you speak Arabic, you will see how stupid this book is. This is a book of stupidity. Did Allah create two Jibreel? Razwan saying, look, Razwan is refuting me. He is saying, he is said, he created everything in male and female. Abdul, he is saying two and two. What is the first two and what is the second two? People, Rad, Rad, Radwan, by the way, it's Radwan, not Radwan. Radwan, maybe if you live in, like if you are a Bedouin or something. But usually this is like what Turkish day. They, they don't have equal letters, so they use the Z. Two and two is a way of saying male and female, Abdul. How two and two is male and female? The first two is what? I mean, do you see this guy, he scratched his bum and he decided to get me busted. And now he have the solution. Two and two is a way of saying male and female. What's wrong with you, Christian Prince? Why you don't understand the wisdom of Allah? It's so clear. It is two and two that mean uh, male and female. Eight pairs mean two goat, two camel, two cow, to sheep, but this is but but this is not eight pairs. This is eight animals. And then they come to you and they say, Allah is all knowing, all amazing. 
Reality is what? The second you do reality check, Allah is all an idiot, all is stupid. He do not know Arabic. He do not know what he is saying. He is just dumping his poop. Let us call this person here trying to call me maybe. His name is Yahya. Even the names they play with them, like Yahya supposedly is, you know, is, is, is John. You know, Muhammad, he, he didn't, he never were able uh, 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 to pronounce names correctly. In fact, if you ask Muslims, what Yahya mean? They do not know. They do not know. What Yohanna mean? Or Yohanna? They do not know. Muhammad do not know. What Isa mean? Where is this Isa coming from? If you are copying the Greek, that is more stupid of you. Because that will confirm that the Quran is stupid. That will make Isa based on Islam. This is his original name. And that means he's a Greek. If he if if what he meant by saying Isa is Yesus, but this is this is far away from that word too. We never heard of this guy, Isa. Never, never. There's no single Christian in the Middle East ever heard of someone whose name is Isa. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan he want to tell us how Allah created from everything two and two? So when Allah created Adam, there was two Adam and two Eve. Hmm? When Allah created Jibreel, there was two Jibreel and two Mikael and two and two. from everything. Any Muhammadan can, now they will play dead. So what the Muhammadan they do, they go to someone, he is a Christian in the street, Christian by name usually, who do not know a single verse in his Bible. He knew just the general information and the Muslim, he start challenging him and he want to show him error in the Bible and when we die laughing. Somebody saying, he claimed to be Christian, he says, I am a Christian, but I think you are taking things out of context. Well, my friend, you are a Christian who is obviously a, a, a true Christian because I am showing the Muslim translation saying two and two and you are saying to me I'm taking things out of context. Can you give me the context the one you claim to be Christian? Go ahead. I will put it in the screen. Isn't it? This is Muslims. Who they translate the Quran and this is actually what it says in Arabic. Two and two. So I am taking things out of context. Grace. Can you please give me the context of two and two? Go ahead. I promise you I will put your context in the screen. You see, I'm not smart like you. You are the smart and you know the context. And now you can tell us what does that mean? Two and two. Put it for me please in the chat. And I will be happy to put what you said on the screen. Just take your time, take your time. We will give grace some time to think about it, how God created from everything two and two, and I am the one take it out of context. It says two and two. But did Allah create, if he is God, did he create two Adam and two Eve? This is two and two. So you tell me, you know what, I'm not smart like you. I want to know what two and two mean. Go ahead.
Do you want to call a friend so he can help you about two and two? It could mean male and female. Okay, I will go with you. No problem, no problem, Grace. I don't know what's your problem, but I understand that not all people, they have the same level of intelligence. God bless you, Grace. So, Grace, we are pointing our finger at a mistake. And you are saying to us, maybe it could be, but no, it could not, because it says two and two. So what we will do with the second two? It's just to justify something. We delete text. It could mean male and female. No, because it says two and two. So if the first two is male and female, the second two is what? Transgender? The reason we are quoting this because this is an error and this is a bad language. If he meant to say, I created from everything to male and female, well, then he should not say two and two. Correct? So this is why we are quoting the verse because obviously this is a mistake. This is a stupid mistake. If you say to your husband, he says to you, did you, how much you milk you bought? You say two and two. What does that mean? Four. Forget about God now, about anything. You go home, you do shopping. Your husband, he says to you, did, did, I hope you did not forget to buy milk. How many you bought? You say to him, two and two. So there is no solution. Except accepting that this is a very, very bad, horrible mistake. This is going to be from God. And this is against the story in the Quran. The Quran copied the story from the Old Testament that God created Adam and Eve, male and female. Then when he say two and two, that is a clear contradiction because it cannot be both. One, two, and that's it. And not to forget to mention, I mean, the whole Quran is a stupid. Not only this, this is just that it's endless. Like when the Quran says eight pairs, well, eight, it's eight pairs. Eight pairs is two x two. 8x2. That make it 16. The word pairs mean two. So when the one the one who wrote the Quran, don't he speak good Arabic? The Muslim they say the Quran Arabic is amazing. Nobody can write Quran like the Quran, but we, we notice that the Quran is messed up. Anyone who knows Arabic very well, or even little, he, he can tell right away that this Quran is messed up. If you go to the verse before it, just to show you how stupid the Quran is, as an example, Allah is the one who raised the heaven without any pillars that you can see. You read the explanation, you will see that Allah, he claimed, Aka Muhammad, that Allah, he lift up the heaven. Is that true? We are inside the sky. We are just a little tiny dust inside the space. We are not out of the space. Based in the Quran, Allah, he left up the sky and we are in the earth. In fact, we are a spaceship. We are a spaceship on the space. We are swimming nonstop in the space. 
And then, just to make it simple, how Allah He lift up the heaven, you go. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, 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 miss the, the rest of the verses. We can go back, but just to show you, if you go to the chapter of Qaf, Qaf. If you ask any Muslim, who the heck is this Qaf? Every Muslim will give you his own answer. Qaf is a mountain surrounding the earth from all direction, like a fence. And in the top of it is the sky. Read carefully. But the narration of Ibn Abbas, and this is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, who, the only one who have a license to explain the Quran according to Muhammad. Muhammad, he prayed to his cousin to be the scholar of the nation. The Muslim believe if Muhammad, he prays something, that's it, it's going to happen. So this is the scholars of the nation. It says, from the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas that he said, in the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, he said Qaf is an azure mountain overlooking the, this world. And the color of the sky takes from it, Allah swear by it, knowledge. If we go back to the verse, the same verse we were reading here, we go back. To Zawjain. In the translation here, it says he is the one who spread the earth. That's false. It is he who made the earth flat. And he placed therein mountain standing firm. So according to the Quran, the same verse. The earth is a flat and Allah, he placed mountains in the top of the earth. If we go to the verse here, the one we were reading, chapter 13, verse number two, let us go there. Just to show you, this is uh, the Muslim, they say you are taking things out of context. I will show you the Muslim context. This is not me saying those things. This is what the Muslim believe. Allah, he who raised up the heaven. He created the heaven and he raised them up above the earth without a visible support. He says, you see them without support and also said that it's mean they have support which you do not see. Then he mount the throne, he mount in the throne. Allah, he, then he sit in the chair. You ask the Muslims how Allah he mount? They don't answer. Right? Uh, Grace, she said, uh, she is not proud of me no more because I'm picking up, picking a fight. Yes, Grace, I'm picking up a fight. And we are the crusaders and you are a potato. We are picking up fight with those who want to deceive the Christians and you are a false Christians, obviously. Guys, look what the grace, the Muslim, she said. Love not to create war and split and spit, spite, sorry. I used to be, be proud of you, you stupid liar. All my life I speak the same way, never change. So how you say to me, I used to be, so go change your name and come back to Abdul name. Nobody heard me ever speaking about Islam without exposing Muhammad and spanking him nonstop. And I don't want someone like you to be proud of me. That means the devil is happy with me. And if the devil is happy with me, that means I am corrupt. The Bible says, who is the Antichrist? Is the one who denied the father and the son. So you claim to be Christian and you don't want us to say to Muhammadans that the one who denied the Messiah as the son, he is an antichrist, for you are a fraud. It looked like Jesus was spreading war too. Because he said, the one who don't believe in me, he will go to hell. Oh, uh oh, Jesus saying the Muslim will go to hell, not nice of you, Jesus. Grace is not proud of you. 
Get out of here, potato. Liar. All of this is nothing but a mistake. It's a continual mistake. And you will notice that the Muslim, when they explain something, they keep saying, it's also said, it's also meant, it's also maybe, it's also perhaps, it's also maybe. Look, what the heck is that? So what is the answer? The answer, it's also maybe. In chapter, the same chapter, chapter 13, verse number 13, we will find that the thunder is an angel. And now the stupid Grace, she will say, Christian Prince, Muhammad Abdul Grace, Christian Prince, shame on you, you are picking up to fight, uh, fight and war. Uh, you know, they are killing us, they are raping our women, they took our land, they took our churches, and I am the one who is the problem. Coward. Thunder, by his command, it is an angel. So who is the thunder? He is an angel. He is what? He is an angel. Maybe you will not like your Islamic interpretation. So I should I use a Christian prince interpretation? So if I read for them, their interpretation... they get upset. If I give them my interpretation, they get upset. If I show them what their prophet said, they get upset. If I show them what the Quran said, they get upset. If I ask them what is the interpretation for this, they get upset. They don't want to admit that the Quran is messed up. Maybe this interpretation is stupid. Maybe Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, who Muhammad prayed for him, is a donkey. Let us see another smart Muslim, Tafsir al-Jalalain, a genius Muslim. He wrote ten tons of books. The Muslim worship him. The thunder, this is an angel who is in charge of the cloud. Christian Prince, you are taking this out of context. Thank you, Grace. Thank you. Brother Sitar, first of all, Christian Prince is not giving you the true answer. What the heck? First of all, how you jump in the program, like, with not even calling me. Christian Prince, first of all, I am taking you from heaven. You are speaking to me from heaven. Okay, how you can do that? Very easy. I'm a Muslim, I can speak to you from heaven. But Allah, he come down every third part of the night to say who is talking to me, who is worshiping me. So how you can talk to me from heaven, but Allah cannot even hear me from heaven. He have to come down. So are you saying to me, you have a better reception than Allah? Christian Prince, first of all, respect yourself. Allah have better reception. Okay, so how Allah, he have better reception and he have to come down every third part of the night and you are telling me now you are talking to me from heaven. Did you come down? Christian Prince, first of all, I can't come down. Why you cannot come down? Because Allah took me up and you did not take me down. Very simple. Ah, you are waiting for the bus. Okay, no problem. What kind of God he cannot hear you unless he come down? Do you have an answer? Good thing, Prince. First of all, let me introduce myself. Zachary Naik, I know you are Zachary. Are you going to tell me now you are not a person? Good thing, Prince. You are being deceived. First of all, I'm the end of the breed. You, you are what? I am the end of the breed. Why oh, you are squeezing yourself? You are Zakir Naik. Only Zakir Naik. He do that. He speak like this. He squeeze himself. Jibril, he never said that. Jibril, he squeeze people. He, he, he don't get squeezed. Christian Prince. First of all, when I squeezed Prophet Muhammad, I was not squeezing him for a sexual purpose. You were not squeezing him for a sexual purpose. So what was the purpose? Christian Prince. If you go to the restaurant, what do you do? If I go to the restaurant, they bring us food. Okay, okay. What if next you do? Um... I squeeze mayonnaise. Exactly. So Allah Prophet, he wants like the mayonnaise for the world. And Allah wanted to squeeze him. So the mayonnaise will come out and we enjoy it. What is the mayonnaise coming from the Prophet? Can you tell me? That is the Quran. The Quran is the mayonnaise. I mean, that is ruining everything. As you see, the angel is a thunder. The thunder is an angel. Allah, he put mountains on top of the earth. He created from everything two and two. And the sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the women. She have a sperm coming from her ribs. And the list goes on. Good and print. 
But of all, I trained you to tell me about the list. We'll go on. You challenge me to tell you about the list goes on. Okay, Allah is the best of the creators. How Allah can be the best of the creators if there's only one 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 creator? Christian Prince. First of all, Allah is the best of the creator, and he have a certificate for that. He have a certificate from who? Have you ever heard of somebody keep praising himself, comparing himself to someone who doesn't exist? If there's no other creators, how he can be the best of the creators? Very simple. I'll tell it to you. Christian Prince. First of all, I have to go to the bathroom. Where are you going? I mean, give me the best of the creators. We stop here. Don't go. Get them, Prince. I'm not going. I'm not leaving. Like a night. Last time I shake, I was debating him. He said to me, excuse me. I need to go to the to do the call of nature. And that was more than 15 years ago. Until now, he never came back. Get them, Prince. First of all, I am a truth cake. And then I'm going to come back. I'm not going to the bathroom. Okay, Zach, I'll go to the bathroom. Who is a Muslim is here, he do not need to go to the bathroom. This is religion. And then they say to you, it's amazing. And then they were lying, saying there is scientific miracle in the Quran. And then just a few days ago, we heard Prophet Lili Dawa saying that the Quran have nonsense miracle. Well, guess what? Nonsense. So all those years, they were lying to us, claiming that there is scientific miracles. But the reality is, there is none. You know what none mean? None. He may be staying in Islam for the right reasons. How? I one of the reasons I accepted Islam was the scientific miracles. I'll be honest with you. And now we know that this whole scientific miracles was absolute nonsense, not to in total. But guess what? Allah led me to Islam. One of the reasons was because of the scientific miracles. And guess what? Did I leave Islam when this whole scientific miracle thing got debunked? No, I stayed because I grew in faith. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran to the Bedouins. Don't say you have believed but rather say you have submitted. They were Bedouin Arabs and Allah says, because Iman hasn't entered your heart. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran? It says the Bedouins say we have believed. Say you have not yet believed, but rather say we have submitted. For, for faith has not entered your hearts. If you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not deprive you from your deeds of anything. So, which is very clear, meaning faith hasn't come into your heart yet. So this is what Islam is about. Scientific miracle is a fraud, never exist. Faith never entered their heart. So what they believe. Um, and the one who keep asking me to explain a verse in the Bible for the Muslims, my friend, let them understand their Quran first, then we can go and take those idiots to speak about the Bible. In order to be able to speak about the Bible, you have to understand your book first. So stop posting saying to me, can you explain that? Do we have a topic? Do you think really a Muslim, he is asking you to explain a verse about the, about the Bible? Do you think this is the reason? They try their, their best is to take you away from exposing the religion. Are you a Muslim yourself? Because that's what Muslims do. They come here, they try to disturb the spanking of Muhammad. Explain to us this verse. Explain what Jesus said. They don't care what Jesus said. They, they insult. The Bible says, don't throw your jewels under the feet of the swine. Don't you understand? If somebody believe that women is equal to animal, that means he believe is an animal. If somebody believe that the Christians are worse than animals, well, I have the right to call him animal. Here, we format the computer from the disease, from the virus. And then, after we format the computer from the disease, then we will give them the truth about the Bible. Before that, we will never throw 
our jewels under the feet of the swine. Never do that. Do we have any Muhammadan here? I am a Christian prince, and your God cannot speak to me and don't dare to say hello to me and don't dare even to show his shin here. I mean, the Muslims who worship a shin. Shin. They say to you, how Jesus can be God, but then we find that their God is a shin. Allah what? is a shin. Allah is what? We have two hands. So what? What is this drama about how God can be a man? All this drama, how God can be a man, brother? How God? How in the world do you Christian worship a God? He is a man. Uzair says, um, from Holland, when Allah mentions in Surah Al-Qalam that he has a shin, a leg, يَوْمَ يُكْشَفُ عَنْ سَاقٍ وَيُدْعَوْنَ إِلَى السُّجُودِ فَلَا يَسْتَطِيعُونَ Hey Muslims, don't forget to start bowing down from now. The Sheikh, he just mentioned the leg of Allah. Allah is going to do striptease and he have a shin. Hey, by the way, do he have a thigh? Will be hilarious, he have a thigh, but he don't ha he'd have a shin without a thigh. Do he have an ass? Muslims, do your God Allah has an ass or not? Is he assless? Shall I make a video called, is Allah assless? Because we cannot say he is a shinless, for it's a proven that he have a shin. And he is going to expose his shin. Praise the shin. Worship the shin. Who created you? The shin of Allah. Who created the word? The shin of Allah. Where is Allah? Allah is in the shin. What the heck is that? And then they make a drama about worshiping Jesus. How in the world you worship Jesus? He is a man. They forgot that Jesus the man. In their book, he can raise people from death. He can make the blind see, he can control the nature, he can tell you the future, and he is the one who forgives sin. In their book, Allah is doing different miracles. What is the miracle? He show his shin. Isn't it, this is an amazing miracle? I cannot do that, especially in the backyard. I go in the backyard, I show my shin, the mosquitoes will be all over it. And this is a miracle. The second Allah, he show his shin, all the Muslims will bow down. Why? Because it is sexy shin and you know it. Um, from Holland, when Allah mentions in Surah Al-Qalam that he has a shin, a leg, يَوْمَ يُكْشَفُ عَنْ سَاقٍ وَيُدْعَوْنَ إِلَى السُّجُودِ فَلَا يَسْتَطِيعُونَ This shin, this leg, belongs to Allah. Really? And the authentic hadith in Al-Bukhari. Stop, please. Are you serious? I thought he borrowed it. I mean, come on. All this time I thought Allah, he borrowed the shin. Now you are telling me it belonged to Allah. What about we say that Allah belonged to the shin? Because if the shin belonged to Allah, I mean, what, what, what belong to Allah mean? I mean, look, look, at, look at the answers. Look at the intelligence. Those are coming from a spaceship. Like you see those people who keep talking about the UFO. You want to see the UFO? Look at the Muslim Sheikh. Those are UFO. He, a new discovery. The shin belong to Allah. A key video is not screen only audio. Guys, do you see? Oh, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I did not, I forgot to click at the thing. 
Now you see him. Now you see him. Okay, come on, uh, Sheikh Ahmad. You are you missed that beard. Huh? Your beard is better. <laughs> By the way, if you did not watch the Sheikh uh, Sheikh Ahmad uh, uh, video about him being uh, uh, Suleiman, go watch it. It's hilarious. Post post the poster for them. He made the video. It's exactly what happened to Suleiman when he died. He was holding a stick and nobody noticed that he is dead for a year because he died holding a stick up. And then the termite, the termite, my friend, the termite, the enemy of Allah, they ate the stick of Suleiman. You know, this Suleiman is so cheap. He owned half of the world, if not all of it now, according to the Muslims. He have a flying carpet, he have a limousine, he have a flying horse, he have, I mean, all of those, and he is using a stick made from wood. I mean, what, what's wrong with you? Make it from gold, no termite will eat it, and no rust will take it. So now, guys, listen. I advise you, all of you, from now on, to start worshipping the true God, Mr. Shin. Not Mr. Bean. Don't be confused. Because I saw the video of Mr. Bean. He was walking in the beach and he lift up his pants showing one of his shin. Don't be confused. Mr. Bean is not Allah, even though both of them, they are mute. We are talking about the true Allah, not the fake Allah. The fake Allah will come and he is going to expose his beautiful sexy shin. From Holland, when Allah mentions in Surah Al Qalam, that he has a shin, a leg. Man. Yawma yukshafu an saqin wa yud'awna ila sujudi fala yastati'un. Wow. This shin, this leg, belongs to Allah. And the authentic hadith in Al Bukhari confirms this. And Madhab Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. From the Prophet to the companions, to the tabi'een, to the tabi'i tabi'een, all agree upon this. So he says, how can we refute and reply to those who accuse the Muslims of giving Allah Azza wa Jal a figure? Listen, listen, here Muslims, he will teach you how to refute the Christian prince. I mean, what do you want more? I'm even playing, look how nice the Christian prince. Is a playing for you a video will teach you, brother, how to refute the Christian prince. How how nice of you, Christian prince. Wow, look how nice he is. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody? He play a video will get him busted, brother. Tell us how to refute. Hold on, I don't. I'm scared now. I don't know. I sh I think I shouldn't change the topic. I'm sweating. Where is my tissue? He is going to tell us how to refute, how, eh, brother. Can you change the topic, please? I mean, come on. I have uh, a lot of people watching. I don't want them to know how to refute it. Go ahead. All agree upon this. So he says, how can we refute and reply to those who accuse the Muslims of giving Allah Azza wa Jal a figure? The poopoo -poo is coming, just wait. And he used the word, I never wrote it down and I never took the uh, initiative to memorize it because I don't use it. You don't use it, uh-huh. So how would we reply to them? Akhi, first of all, how well, first you of all, don't need to reply to them. You do not need to reply. Here we go, he refuted us. He refuted us. Listen, do you see how perfect the, ref 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 the refutation, brother? You do not need to reply for them. It's very simple. Zach and I went to the bathroom. It's going to take him 20 years to finish. The shake, he gave us, he just got us busted. Brother, first of all, you don't have to, 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 to refute them. It's solved. You Christian, you say to Muhammad and your God is a shin. The Muhammad and he answers you, he says to you, I don't need to refute you. I do not need to reply for you. How Jesus is God, huh? How you believe that a man is God? You Christian, learn, learn. Their God is a shin. Hello? All right.
Okay, we missed his call. Anyway, let us see other Muslim. Uh, Yahya, Yahya. Hello? Hello. Yes, Mr. Yahya, how are you? <laughs> uh, here we go. Yeah, no wonder Aisha, she was mature at the age of six. And she was dating a guy before Muhammad at the age of four. She lost her virginity at the age of 10 days. You ask them how the Prophet, he married six years old. The truth is, by the way, that Muhammad, he did not do anything to Aisha. Aisha was evil. If you remember, just to refresh your memory, when those Japanese watches came first time, maybe many of you do not don't remember. You are maybe too young. This is like eight thousand years ago. So the Japanese they made a watch. It have a light inside, and when you click in it, the light will turn on, and it have a digital like, wow. First time came to the Middle East. Aisha she got one. She went to Muhammad. She said, Muhammad, listen, I want to show you something, but we need to go to a dark room. Muhammad is naive. He does not know what's going on. He said, okay. She took him to the dark room. She closed the blind. She closed the window and she closed the door. And then she said to him, I have to show you this, but it says in the manual of the this thing, you have me and you, we have to take off our pants. Muhammad said, okay, okay. He took off his pants. said, I have to take my bra and you take your top. Because it's like, you know, to be sure that there's no bad things will happen. So they took off. And then she said to him, I have to sit in the top of you in order to make you see the clothing. So Muhammad is naive. He do not know what's happening. Aisha is the one who raped him. I mean, he is just 54 years old. And she is six years old. So what those uh, kuffar, they say, the prophet, he raped Aisha. But all of us, we knew what six years old girl is capable of. She would drive you crazy. Candies in their face, chocolate in their face. I mean, crazy stuff. Those girls are very, very powerful. Prophet Muhammad was just 54 years old, very naive, very nice. He had no idea what's going on. He wanted to see the watch from Japan. And she told him actually, Prophet Suzuki, you know, Suzuki, he is the one who sent us. He believed her because he's a believer. Is in the Quran in chapter 9, verse number 60 says that the prophet is an ear, which means he believes in anything he hears. Anything. So those kuffar brother, they lie about the prophet and they lie about Allah. So, okay, Allah, he have a shin. But do you think his shin is like your shin, you stupid? His shin is different. His shin is hilarious. Those people, they think when Allah, he say his shin, he have a shin like, this is his shin, not like Christian prince shin. It's so beautiful. It's so zigzy. It's so wide and big. Is it so hairy? Shin. A leg. Yawma yukshafu an saqin wa yud'awna ila sujudi fala yastati'un. This shin, this leg, belongs to Allah. And the authentic hadith in al-Bukhari. Remember when they say authentic. If you show the hadith to other Abdul, he will say to you, I don't accept it. <laughs> yeah, the Muslims, you know, all the, by the way, all the Muslims, all the Muslims are the prime ministers of India. Yes, all of them are Moody. Moody, Moody, Moody. You will not meet one Muslim. He agree with the other Muslim about what is written in the Quran. Even though he just said, Oh, the scholars agree about it. But in the street, all Muslims, they have different opinion because now they are moody. They cannot get their religion busted. They cannot say, yes, Allah is a shin. We Christian, we say hallelujah. The Muslim, they say shaninuyah. Do they agree? Moody? Say hello to Moody in India. This shin, this leg, belongs to Allah. No way. And the authentic hadith in Al-Bukhari authentic confirms this. Mm. 
and madhab ahl sunnah wal jamaah really look the pupil is getting bigger all the scholars agree on this and all the muslim sunni agree on this he is building pupil you know the, the pupil is getting bigger it's coming okay so what is the result for the, the guy asked you how to refute them so what we will do now from the Prophet ﷺ to the companions, to the tabi'een, to the tabi'i tabi'een, all agree upon this. All. So he says, how can we refute and reply to those who accuse the Muslims of giving Allah Azza wa Jal a figure? And he used the word, I never wrote it down and I never took the uh, initiative to memorize it because I don't use it. Mm. So how would we reply to them? Akhi, first of all, you don't need to reply to them. That's it. The people of innovation and al-ahwa, uh, uh, of desires and whims, those who follow their desires and whims right, of brother. the sharia. Right, right. You do not waste your time replying to them. No, don't do that. Yes, Sheikh, but they are truth seekers. No, they're not. They are not. They have a different mindset. Right, right. They follow innovation, whims, and desires. Ah. Our Prophet told us alayhi salatu wasalam, that this ummah will be divided into 73 sects. All of them are in hell except one. If, 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 and this one is those who... Brother, are... the Muslim, they say to us, which one you should follow, Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox? Three. The Muslims are 73 sect. One of them only in heaven. The rest is lost. <laughs> which means they are the most divided Harut and Marut Jesus is the messenger of Allah Harut and Marut listen carefully are you serious you Harut and Marut are in my chat what an honor ladies and gentlemen let me introduce to you Angel Harut and Marut, the one which Allah He sent to earth to open Hoributar Magical School. Harut and Marut, they are here. Take a beer. Ooh. And Allah sent Harut and Marut to open a school to teach people how to do magic, to divorce the wife and the husband, how beautiful act of Allah. Listen, listen, I did open Harut and Marut school, Allah said, just to make people get divorced. Wife and husband, they fight and destroy families. That is a good deed. Lawyers will make a lot of money from this. <laughs> Let's go back to the Sheikh. <laughs> hey, welcome Harut, don't forget to bring your friends with you. Huh? you know? By the way, do you have your broom with you? If you have your broom, if you don't mind, a clean that shattered floor from the leftover destroyed Abdul. I mean, they are all over the floor, crying, worshiping the shin of Allah. So listen, how we can refute the Christians who say, Christian prince who say Allah is a shin? By the way, I am the first one in the internet who informed the crowd that Allah have a shin. They never heard of it before. And I was so happy one day, I saw, I saw somebody. It was new, like nobody knows about it really, you know. I just started the internet teaching. And then I came to YouTube. And then I found a Muslim saying to uh, somebody, "You, how you worship him? You are worshiping a man. And then the person there answered saying, you are worshiping a shin. So I became interested. I want to know, who is this man who is saying you worship a shin? I click at his name. He's not even nine years old. <laughs> God bless him. By now, maybe he is 19, 20 something, you know. So, Allah, he has a shin. And the Muslims refuse Jesus. Will Allah have a shin, Jesus have a shin. So why you Muslim refuse Jesus? At least Jesus have two shin. Allah have one. Your God, Allah, is a kangaroo. 
He have one shin. According, you know, actually, there's a hadith says Allah he put his leg up and the up the. So no, no, he have two shins. Sorry, I, I take it back, because I heard in news that he was fighting with Taliban and he lost one of his shin, because here in the hadith says Allah will lift up his shin. Do you know, guys, why he will not lift up his two shin? Anyone knows about it? Why only one shin? Very simple. <laughs> Crazy people. If he lift his two shin, he will he will fail. <laughs> so he can lift only one shin, like those birds. What they do, the bird. You know what they call them? Those birds, like all oh, most of the birds actually. Chicken, even chicken. They stand in one chicken, one one leg, and they lift the other one. Because if they lift the two, they will fail down. You cannot, you know, Allah cannot sit down. Allah he have to always to be standing. So he lift one shin, and then he put the other shin, and he put it up. And then he left the other one. So, brother, tell us the secret now how we can deal with those kuffar. Brother, I'm, come on, I'm, we are depending on you. Those who accuse the Muslims of giving Allah Azza wa Jal a figure. Hmm. And he used the word, I never wrote it down and I never took the uh, initiative to memorize it because I don't use it. So how would we reply to them? How? Akhi, first of all, first of all, you don't need to reply to them. We do not. The people of innovation yeah. and al-ahwa uh, uh, uh -oh. of desires and whims, those who follow their desires garbage, and whims. Garbage, garbage people, you know, garbage people, those people, garbage. You do not waste your time. Don't waste your time. Don't. Yes, Sheikh, but they are truth seekers. No, they're not. They have a different mindset. Stupid, Abdul, listen. At least answer the guy, don't answer them. I mean, do you see the stupidity? Do you see how they run away from the question? The guy, he asked you for help. How to refute them? But the guy now, he do not know how to refute them. Do you see how they run away? Because this is how it is. Allah have a shin, what we can do? Allah has a shin. It's a fact. The Shinno God. Shinno Shinno. 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 The God Shinno. May the Shin of Allah bless you. May the Shin of Allah make you win the game of the football. Uh, the Muslims, they are paying money to those, uh, what his name, this guy from Portugal, the devil, Cristo, Cristo, uh, Cristo, Cristo, or they call him a Cristo, you know, he's the devil, he is for sale. All of those who play football, they are devilish, they are satanic, anyone buy them, they, even they put themselves for sale, you can believe it. They have hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank, and still they are satanic, they never have enough, never, never have enough. Satan, satanic. They worship the cameras, they worship to be famous, they worship the dollar, they worship to make money. But now we have another football player, the Shin of Allah. What do you think if the Shin of Allah came in the stadium? Brother. Brother. You cannot believe it, what will happen, brother. They follow innovation, whims, and desires our prophet told us don't you muslim follow desire to be in heaven don't you muslim believe in allah because he promised you endless penis don't tell me you don't have desire of such a penis are you saying to me you don't have a desire and allah forces it on you see you have a desire muslim don't have desire they don't they are out of desire the fact the Muslims are not coming from the world, from the land of Dazarin. No desire. Prophet, he described for you even how the vagina look like. Tell the brother, we have no desire for vagina. Allah, he says, you have the vagina, we have the vagina. We have no desire. The Prophet, he says, in heaven, there's a market of images. You go to the mall and you buy an image for male or female and you enter it and you if it. So what? We enter the image to effort, but we have no desire. Look, 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 look. So the enemy of Allah, they have a desire. The Muslim don't have desire. A Muslim Abdul, when he sleep with his wife, trust me, he have no desire. Allah force him.
is doing his holy duty. Honey, take off your panty. Sure, honey. We have to do the duty for Allah to have more babies to take over Europe. Allahu Akbar. Let us do it. By the way, you look so ugly and disgusting. I have no desire, but we have to do it. Okay, let us do it. They have desire and you don't want to answer them? Mm. Truth seekers. No, they're not. They have a different mindset. Right, they right. follow innovation, whims, and desires. Uh -oh. Our Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, Disgusting. that this ummah will be divided into 73 sects. All of them are in hell except one. And this one is those who are following my footsteps and the footsteps of the companions. These people are not following the footsteps of the Prophet, alayhi salatu Now, look how beautiful this conversation. We are talking about the shin of Allah. And now we are talking about the footsteps of Muhammad. Do you see the connection? They are so close. The footstep of Allah, the footstep of Muhammad, and the shin of Allah, both together, they make a perfect footballer player. Allah have a by the way, Allah have a foot too. Look at this face. Look at this thinker. Look at this philosopher. Let us be honest here. Isn't it this is a look of somebody is a genius? I mean, those kuffar, they might say whatever they want to say. Look at this deep. Just go inside the brain. Focus, focus. Focus with me. So beautiful. His eyes connected to his brain. And I am spending the last century trying to find where is the Muslim brain. I could not find it. Not even in the flea carpet. Mar market. What carpet? Look at this deep thought, philosophy, understanding, knowledge. Look at the beard. Zoom, zoom in the beard. Let us see if there is any lies like Muhammad. I mean, can you believe it in their books? It says the Prophet was full of lies. And the Muslims are saying, we are proud that the Prophet Muhammad is the most documented. The most what? Documented. The Prophet have lies in his panty. Yes, brother. And what she is doing there? She is writing her diary. Because she was watching everything. Who get in and who get out. As you see, they cannot debate us, they cannot answer us. And the only thing is to say to Muslims that, you know what? When they ask you a serious question, refuse to answer. When the next time a Christian and Israelis, they can call? I don't know. I need to ask Allah. As you know, everything is destiny. <laughs> what I can do, brother? <laughs> yeah, and look at the heaven behind him too, yeah, you see? Yeah, continue, continue. The Qur'an, in the Qur'an, yeah. Allah tells us that this is a book that is clear in Arabic. Like, how are clear in Arabic? And you are saying to him, don't answer them, don't explain, we can't explain. Guys, it's a clear in Arabic. Two and two. I mean, do you see how clear it is? Brother, it's a clear, it is a clear. The Quran says it is two and two. Will that mean it's two and two? It's clear. What's wrong with you? Allah created everything two and two. Clear, clear Arabic. Very clear. Allah is the best of the creators. Very clear too. It's a clear Arabic, but Allah is the only creator. It's a clear Arabic. What's wrong with you? Look, what's wrong with you? Stupid people. Muslims, they understand very well. Christian, Jews, Hindus, Buddhists, uh, atheists, they don't understand. Allah is the best of the creator. But this Abdul. But there is only one creator. Listen, this is a clear Arabic. Okay. So how he is the best of the creators and there is only one creator. Listen, first of all, I do not need to answer you. Second of all, Allah is right. Like what? Okay, my friend, I'm not asking you if Allah is right or wrong. I'm asking you how Allah is the best of the creators. If there's only one creator, 
Okay, I will answer you. This is a clear Arabic. What the heck? You go to the Muslim convert to Islam website. You ask them, why the Prophet kissed the black stone? They say to you, because it's holy. Okay, why it's holy? They say to you, because the Prophet kissed it. Like, what the heck? So it's an Arabic book. It is an Arabic book. No way. What a discovery. I just know that. All my life I was searching, trying to find Quran is written in which gibberish language. Now we knew it is the gibberish Arabic. It's a clear book in Arabic. And it's so clear to the point we need a billion interpretation and none of them agree with each other. It's so clear. And Allah knows best. Forget about the rest. And it was made clear so to the Arabs understand it. Only the Arab understand it. Are you an Arab? No. What the heck? And Allah tells us in this book, that he has eyes, that he has a face, that he has two hands. Specifically, he did not say one hand or... Listen, listen carefully. Allah, he did not say he have one hand. There is a huge difference between two hands and one hand. How Allah can drive a bicycle if he have two one hand? I mean, come on. Allah is perfect. You have two hands. Okay, Muslims, Allah, he have two hands. Why? You see, you say to us, why you worship Jesus? He's a man. He have two hands. He have a face. He have... Turn to me. What's your God? What's your God? He's not a man. You can't say he's an octopus. Octopus have many hands. You need to find me a creature. have two hands. Which one? Monkey? Don't tell me Allah is Joe Biden. That will be really hurting. That will hurt. He's an Arab. This guy is an Asian. What are you talking about? Since when the Asian are Arab potato? He's an Arab? What an idiot you are. Or hands. He said two hands. He specified this so that there's no ambiguity of it being none, none. a metaphor. It's not a metaphor. When I say I have a hand over you means that I have a favor over you. So I use one hand. That's it. See? But you got you busted. Two hands, that, this cannot be a metaphor. And to the Arabs, they know that this, these are two real hands. Right, right. So the hadith says that Allah Azza wa Jal has fingers. The Quran says Allah has a shin. So when we come... Allah have a finger. Allah has a shin. Allah have a pen. Allah have a paper. Allah, he write. Allah, he dance. Allah, he run. Allah is Master Bean. What the heck is that? And the second a Muslim, he called me. I said to him, Allah have a shin. He said to me, it's a metaphorical. Abdul, all of you, you agree this is not a metaphorical. How come when you call me, you say it's metaphorical? It's metaphorical only when they speak to Christian prince. Anything I show them in the Quran, it's a metaphorical. The Quran says, beat your wife. It's a metaphorical. What the heck? The Quran says, the prophet is a drink camera urine. It's a metaphorical. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. All the wisdom come from Allah and his prophet. And Allah and his prophet, they knew everything. I will tell you a true story about what happened to me. Once I was eaten by a lion. This is a true story. And then I was almost dead. The lion, he took my hands, my head. He, he dismantled all my body. He was a lion with sharp teeth. And I died. However, in the last moment, I remembered 
that I have in my pocket the negla seed. My soul was coming out. That's it. I'm going to go. In the last second, I put my hand in my pocket and I grab the negla seed. And I come back to life. I put my arms and my legs together. Thanks to Allah, he did not touch my balls. He did not crush them. They are still safe. I ate the negla seed, and in a second, all my parts start coming together. The hand, my ears. He, the, the filthy lion, he was like, he think like it's a snack, you know? Especially the babies of the lion, the wife, she brought her babies. They have a feast on me. But the brother, the wisdom of the prophet beat everybody. When the lion he saw in his own eyes, after he dismantled my part, I am coming back together. He could not believe it. He said to me, Nar. which means, how this happened? I told him the hadith of Allah Prophet, that if you have negla seed, that can cure any disease except death. And now because I took it before I die, I can fly. And then the lion, he made a song. It says, I can fly. Nobody can say to me goodbye. I can fly. Then a glass seed made me. Hi, hi. I can fly. Then a glass seed, brother. Let us close the hospitals. Let us close the pharmacies. All what we need is the necklace seed. Can save you from better all kind of deeds. Dr. Muhammad, peace be upon him, the founder of the urine.com organization. Drink urine, eat nagla seed, and get Allah deed, and you will be saved. And still, those kuffar don't want to believe in Allah. What's wrong with you? You have cancer, get necklace seed. You have a flu, get necklace seed. You don't have money to pay for your food, get necklace seed. Give necklace seed. It solves everything. In fact, I found that the reason the Chinese they are building massive economy and cities because of necklace seed. The president, he keep having it in his pocket. It gave him wisdom. He was a fool. Remember, it says the cure of every disease. So if you, if a fool, is a disease. Madness, craziness is a disease. He took just work like a seed. Look what happened to Joe Biden. He is the most stupid person in the world. He don't listen. I keep telling him, take necklace seed, you idiot. Give necklace seed, he don't listen. Lately, we found that he is taking cocaine in the White House. So, the smart one who take the negla seed, they became superior. Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, they are praising Allah with cocaine. Wrong medicine. Wrong medicine. Hmm. You will debate me. You are buying a mic. Air is one. Are you serious? Guys, a lifetime decision. Abdul, Mr. Razwan, he decided to debate me and now he will buy a mic. Uh, Razwan, as I know, you said you are using the, using the phone. What mic you need to buy? How many times you told me I cannot call you because I'm using the phone? Now the excuse is the microphone? I thought phones come with microphones. I mean, do you have a phone in your country where they don't have microphone? Bechito. Don't, don't try to play with the Christian prince. You know, you are no match. Oh, you are a match, actually. I'm talking about the one they put it in their pocket to light up their cigarette. 
Listen to me, all of you. You better go and get neglect seed. Don't get married, get neglect seed. Listen, you feel like you need to have a wife? <laughs> what for? Get neglect seed. You feel like you need a husband? Oh man, don't don't do that, women. Don't do that. Get Nagla seed. It's going to satisfy your need. Nagla seed is the solution. Trust Allah. And then you go to hell. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince was serving you humbly for today. And I will see you soon again. Feel free to subscribe to our Ramble. And here we have Ramble as a backup in case and we will go in both from time to time. All right. God the bless. And you can join us in Patreon. Christ is Lord. Muhammad is a fraud. And we prove it every time. Take care.